Hello everybody, how do you do? This is Project How To Do, my name is Konstantin and today I'll make this power bank with solar panels. Some time ago I used to try to make Mindesina motor, spend about $100, but it's not working anyway. And I put solar panels aside. Now I found it and thinking what to do with it. And decided to make a power bank. Made a model for 3D printer, it will contain one 18650 battery and two models, 5V step-up DC-DC converter and lithium charger. I thought I need to use one more step-up converter from solar panels to charger, but it's working fine without it. I always have few comments from people who doesn't have 3D printer. But guys, we live in 2017. 3D printers aren't very expensive, and also you can find special websites where people who has it ready to print your model for a couple dollars. First I make brass plates for battery holder. Cut it, clean it. Solder wires. Glue it to the spot. And fix this battery you are going to use. Then I solder models. My lithium charger model has over discharge protection. So circuit diagram is pretty simple. Plus and minus of battery to the same pins on the board. Output of the charger to the input of 5V DC-DC step-up converter. And plus and minus pins near to micro USB goes to solar panels. Glue models with hot glue. If you print with PLA filament, it's a big chance to melt it. So I put aluminum plate under the model. It works like a heatsink. I use serial parallel connection of solar panels. So on the one end it's just a jumper, on the other plus and minus output. Glue one of the panels. Final soldering, solar panels to the charger model. I know that lots of people don't like ultrafire batteries, but it's actually good if you know what you buy. Yes, it's about twice lower capacity, but price is less than one dollar, show me something better. Fix battery with a piece of tape. Some glue on the joints. And the final touch. Now we're good to go. I'm planning this power bank as an emergency power supply. You put it on your backpack, forget for a month, and if your phone suddenly dead, it will be enough to charge it for a couple calls and listen music for a few hours. That's all I got for today. If you like this video, please share it in your social media, it really helps. See you soon.